y'all, it's the Thrifty Southerner. And I am back again for, actually not back again. Well, I guess I'm back again, but I'm doing a new thing, which is shop my stash. I have got some bags I've decided to get rid of. And I am, some of them are ones that I have, actually all of them, I believe all of them are ones that I have purchased and decided to keep. Now there is one in here that I got clean, that I finally was able to clean and I didn't get to show it to y'all in my last These Bags Ain't At Home video. So that one will be added, but the other ones were ones that I have used or thought I was gonna use and I've decided to go ahead and let go of. So let's get started. If you're not familiar with my videos like this, each item will have a number so that you can refer to it and it will have a number and also if you can refer to it by the manufacturer's name. It makes it a little bit easier for me when I have so many bags. Now, this is not as many as I normally have for these bags need a home, but still it kind of makes it easier. If you're interested in any of these items, you can join my Facebook group. It is a closed group. You'll need to ask to join. I will approve you. Then you may ask about an item. If you're interested in that item, the very first person that puts their email for me to send them a PayPal invoice will be the one that gets that item. All right, let's get started. We start with the one that I was able to get cleaned. And it does have a Dooney hang tag. It's sitting right in there. I need to put it back on. It goes right here. I took it off to clean it. It got really clean. I really feel like it really cleaned up nicely. It is the Texas Cowboy or Cowgirl tote. There are still some marks on the inside. I did not really work on trying to get the inside clean per se. I was working on getting the outside uh, spots off of it and it really turned out nicely. I'm gonna stuff it so that it can get its shape back a little bit, but very, very nice. Leather's still in excellent condition. So that's number one, Dooney. Number two, thought I was going to use this for our laptop and I just have not ended up using it. This is actually going to be a $10 item. The only $10 item that's in my haul of my personal stuff. It's super cute. It's a Kate Spade felt holder for your laptop. It does have a little bit of pilling. I do have a sweater uh, pillory shaver offy thing that I will go through and shave the little pills off. And here's the inside. And then it does have like, I don't know what happened there. I guess maybe it just, they it got like scraped a little bit from somebody constantly taking their laptop out. Kate Spade, it says have courage on it. If anyone needs dimensions, let me measure it. It is about 13 and a half inches. 13, 13 and a quarter. So it would accommodate a 13 inch laptop or tablet, whatever. I don't know if anybody has a tablet that big, but anyway. Okay, so that is number two, Kate Spade. Again, that is a $10 item. Also, I forgot to mention, I have on the same shirt as the previous Thrifty Thursday video because I did film these on the same day and I'm sorry I didn't change shirts. So it is what it is. All right, number three is a, I think a Hobo International. Yes, and I never even used this one. It's still got the tag from the thrift store in it. I thought I was gonna use it. I have too many tan bags. Like it's ridiculous. This is a great shoulder bag. It's really big. Got a nice back pocket, flap. It's also got like a little pen holder and a cell phone holder that I think might actually hold a decent sized cell phone. You could probably put your tablet at least or your laptop, let's see. How does it compare to this? Um, it's not quite as wide, but it could definitely accommodate a small, it's about 11 inches. So it could be a work tote if you've got a tablet or a small laptop. That is number three, Hobo. 
Four is another gorgeous purse that I did not use. This is an Olivia Harris. This was originally, I think, a $398 bag. It is a satchel. And I should have known. How many times have I told you guys? I, I don't use satchels. I love the way they look. I think they're absolutely beautiful. And I don't use them. Because I like something that I can throw on my shoulder. And this, you can't quite put on your shoulder. So, it's really pretty. Needs to be conditioned. Because it's got, see those superficial scratches on it? Those will all buff out when when I condition it. That's no big deal. That's just because it's been squashed in between a couple of uh, other purses. So, gorgeous. Turn lock. Here's the interior. This also would make a great work bag. So, that is number four, Olivia Harris. Olivia. Number five is this awesome sack convertible. I did use this and it was awesome. But I did find that for me, I was using it more like this as a crossbody and I already have a bunch of crossbodies. So there were a couple of people that were really interested in this. And so I thought I would let them have it since I'm probably not gonna use it. Backpacks just, they're just not for me. They're not for me. It was great. We took it to the zoo one day and it was amazing, but I'm just not a backpack gal. So pretty. This is still for sale online. So that's number five, sack. Number six will add to the list of ones that I kept and never used. This is a beautiful fossil crossbody. I think it could be a little bit more dressy or you could dress it down. Pretty sure that my phone fit in here. I can't remember. But that's pretty wide. This is a newer fossil bag. Super cute. These can also be taken off and it can be a clutch. Actually a wristlet. That's kind of a big wristlet, but it can be a clutch or a wristlet. It's got these interior pockets. It's actually got like credit card pockets right here, so you wouldn't even have to put your wallet in if you didn't want to. And it smells really good like leather. I'm kind of wanting to keep it, but I don't need to keep it because I've never used it and I kept it for like six months. So there we go, number six, fossil. It is a dark brown. I don't know what color it's coming off. For seven, I did use and loved, but again, I have a Tory Burch purse that is almost exactly like this. It's the same color. This one's a slightly bigger, but I'm trying to really get rid of stuff because I have too much stuff. Anyway, this is a Rebecca Minkoff. It's gorgeous. It is weathered. It, it, it has been loved. It's got some spots on it. Um, it's got some spots on the bottom. You know, these, these feet have been worn down. Um, but when I use this, I got so many compliments on it. I love it. I'm looking at it. I'm like, really? Do I have to get rid of it? Here is the handle. There's a little bit of wear on the handle, just as far as darkening. And nothing structurally wrong with the purse whatsoever. It's enormous. I always think of one of my subscribers when I see these really, really big bags. I always think of Sharon. I don't know if she'd like this one or not, but anytime I have a really huge bag to show, I always think of her. All right, so that is number seven, Rebecca Minkoff. Number eight, a lot of people were interested in this too, and I kept it and I used it in my purse for a little while just to keep, I think I kept makeup in it. And then I thought, I'm just being greedy because somebody else might use this as a, a wristlet, and it's just so pretty. So it is this coach wristlet. It does have a little spot right here that's slightly darker, and I actually, I did that by accident. I had, uh, like, greasy lotion on my hands, and I grabbed it right there, but it is very slight. Oh, I had my finger over it. It's right here. Right there. Other than that, it's in great condition. I'll condition the leather. Uh, any of these bags will have the leather condition before they go out. It's actually got a creed inside of it and then the C's. 
This is beautiful. That would be number eight, Coach Wristlet. Number nine is this really cute kabu that I thought I was going to use when we went to Ireland and ended up using a different crossbody bag instead. So this one, it's really tall. It's in great condition. Got a front pocket, and a zip pocket, and the interior. So that is number nine kabu. Hey, last two. This one is one that I ordered from China, and it's really funny because it's got Kipling interior. Oh, this is a $10 bag, too. So, um, it's got Kipling interior. I guess they make fake Kiplings, and this has Kipling interior. It's just a little backpack, which, again, I thought I got for the trip, and then I realized I'm not a backpack person. So, it's super cute. It's never been used. It's just a little vinyl backpack. The tag says something in Chinese. I don't know. So anyway, that's number 10, Chinese backpack. All right, this last one I purchased, I kept, and I have not used, and I'm going to get rid of it because I need to let someone else love it and use it. And if I don't sell it on here, I will put it on Poshmark, but I haven't put it on there yet. I wanted to give you guys first dibs. It is a Tory Burch. Crossbody. I don't, I want to call this the Fleming, but I don't think it's the Fleming because it's got the, the Fleming is not flowers. I can't remember. The Robinson maybe is what this is called. Anyway, here is the strap. I have it taken off so it doesn't get beaten up. This purse is in like new condition. It has zero wear on it that I can see. Okay. I honestly think that maybe someone used it a couple of times. There's no dirt or anything or any kind of like, you know, schmutz in here like it's been used. It is a navy blue. Again, the strap is in excellent condition. There's no turning. There's nothing wrong with it. It does come with the dust bag. So this is number, oh look, I'll let you even see. The, the logo's got no scratches on it. It is just gorgeous, but I've had it on at least six months and I haven't used it, so. Someone else will love that and use it. So that's number 11, Tory Burch. It's also my last item. Again, I told you guys how you could get in touch with me via my Facebook page or my Facebook group. And if you're not a Facebooker, you can email me. I'll put my email here. Although I will tell you that I get hundreds of emails a day. So the fastest, best way to get the item that you want is via my Facebook group. All right, you guys, if you like these kind of videos, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, y'all keep it thrifty.